Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of What in the World is Going On. I'm your host, Brad Hurst. If you are living in the Middle East, particularly in the area of Ethiopia, this video is for you. If you're living in the United States, and you want to help us get this video to the Middle East and the people in Ethiopia, I want you to click on the donate sign that's located right below this video and help us get this um, video out to people in the Middle East. I posted the last video in the Middle East and we had some 6,000 downloads on, on that particular video. And so we want to make sure that we're targeting those individuals, particularly in the Middle East, who are interested in what God's Word has to say about where they live. All right. Now, uh, in the past, I have posted videos on the topic of Isaiah chapter 18. Uh, Isaiah chapter 18 specifically deals with uh, Ethiopia, and it specifically deals with a locust plague and what the sign of the locust plague actually is. According to Isaiah chapter 18, the sign of the locust plague is an indication that there is a gift that's going to come out of Ethiopia, and it's going to be set or placed or rested upon Mount Zion in Jerusalem. Now, if you have uh, any uh, information or if you've been paying attention, you will know that I have suggested that that, that gift uh, is quite possibly the Ark of the Covenant. Because Ethiopia has a church in the region of Tigray that is um, called the Oxum Church. And that church in particular is supposed to be the resting place or the house of the Ark of the Covenant. All right, and what we understand, according to Isaiah chapter 18, a locust plague is going to take place in Ethiopia. It's going to be very, very large. And we've had very, very large locust plagues uh, taking place inside of Ethiopia since about 2019. In fact, they exponentially got bigger. And now we have a conflict taking place inside of the region of Tigray, and there's a mass government operation underway. Uh, to go after the, the people of Tigray in the Tigray region. There's a lot of things going on right now. Uh, if you recall, last year, uh, in early in January of this year, there was a conflict inside of Tigray where the church of the Ark of the Covenant was actually attacked and many people fled to that church uh, under the guise of protecting the Ark of the Covenant and hundreds of people died in that in that um, in that conflict. And after that, things kind of settled down, and, and in June it seemed as though there would be a a peace that would actually hold. But uh, lo and behold, uh, things have begun to um, heat up there in the region again. And now the government of Tigray is uh, going after the people of Tigray once, uh, or the government of Ethiopia is going after the people of Tigray once again. Now, this is, um, uh, the, here's an article that I've got out of Al Jazeera. Okay, and this is dated uh, 10 to 9 to 21. Uh, this is coming to us from a reporter by the name of Getchu Reda, spokesman for the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, and told AFP, there is a massive move against the Tigrayan forces, which have been locked in a brutal conflict with pro-government troops in northern Ethiopia for about uh, for more than 11 months. Uh, this is another article uh, that's uh, more recent, as of um, uh, it's actually uh, this is actually October 11th, 2021. Uh, Ethiopia army launches major attack on Tigray rebels. Government and allied forces launch coordinated offensive on all fronts, Tigray People's Liberation Front says. In fact, if you go on to read the article, you're going to find out that Eritrea is involved in this, in this um, conflict as well. Uh, here's a, another article, also from Al Jazeera, uh, 10, 11, 21. Actually, it's the same article, another statement, and this comes uh, by, uh, to us by Samuel uh, Getchu, an independent journalist, said the government has been preparing for this moment for a while. There was a mobilization going on in Amara in in uh, Amahara region. For instance, it was an open secret, 
and is the defining moment, and this is the defining moment that the Ethiopian government has been saying is forthcoming. Yet the chariot told Al Jazeera from Ethiopia's Samara is expected to be bloody, all right? So, so even though there's been a peace and a lull, uh, Ethiopia has been, has been preparing for this moment uh, for several months. Just recently, uh, in Al uh, just recently, the the president of Ethiopia has been reelected, and now he seems to have in his mind that he's got uh, kind of like a, a free pass to do what he wants to do. Uh, here's another article to us uh, coming to us from a different source. It's called The Citizen, and it's uh, a couple months old. It says uh, a few weeks ago there were claims that Turkey, remember. Uh, Turkey is the one that actually entered into a military agreement with Ethiopia. And it says here that Turkey has provided Ethiopia combat drones to be used in the Tigray conflict. The Turkish embassy in Addis Ababa immediately rejected the allegations saying it was fabricated. And yet, here we have this very reliable source, uh, the New York Times, on 10-12-21, which is actually today, uh, says that speaking by phone, General... Sadakan Gebertenese, a member of the Central Command of the Tigray Forces and its leading strategist, said Ethiopian forces had begun the military operation on Friday with the bombardment of Tigrayan positions using warplanes, artil artillery, and drones. All right. Now you ask yourself, where is Tigray? Well, Tigray is located, you see here in this map, it's located in the northern part of Ethiopia, and you can see right in the center of it all at the top is the Church of the Aksum, a Church of, of the uh, Ark of the Covenant in Aksum. So that's kind of what we're, the area that we're looking at. Uh, this is where this conflict is actually taking place. Now, uh, am I saying right now that the Ark of the Covenant is about to come out of Ethiopia? Well, I mean, it's hard not to actually say that but we want to be sober in what we're doing, and we want to be watching, and we want to be waiting. Now, we do have the passage in Isaiah chapter 18 telling us that a massive uh, a locust swarm would come out of Ethiopia first. It would be a signal to the world that something is going to come out of Ethiopia. It's going to make its way to Jerusalem. It's going to be set upon, the, upon Mount Zion, and it's going to be called a gift unto the Lord. So, uh, a lot of things taking place. A lot of people being displaced in, in this in this region and, and surrounding regions. Uh, a lot of starvation taking place. And in addition to that, uh, more locust swarms are beginning to breed in this area. And unfortunately, because of the conflicts going on, control efforts aren't actually able to take place. And so it's quite possible another massive locust, locust swarm could also come out that would still precede what uh, is ultimately going to be a gift unto the Lord being being placed in in uh, in Jerusalem. So, uh, you know, this this prophecy, uh, shall we say, update that I give you, it's events driven. And when we are doing something, and I've got something going on, and then something else pops up that uh, uh, interrupts what we're doing, we want to make sure that we jump on that. So. Uh, so again, if you're in Ethiopia or you're in the Middle East, this this video is for you. Okay, Ethiopia um, figures quite prominently in Bible prophecy, and uh, it's it's mentioned in the book of Daniel. It's mentioned, I believe, also in Ezekiel, and it's certainly mentioned in the book of Isaiah. If you're in the Middle East, uh, you're one of the people who's going to be affected by the events that take place not only in Ethiopia, but in Syria and in uh, uh, the, the Middle East, uh, North Africa, Egypt, Turkey, and what have you, and we're trying to get these videos to you so that you can be prepared for what is apparently about to come uh, your way and take place upon the face of of the um, world scene. So uh, I will provide links to the other videos uh, down below, links down below, the other videos uh, with regard to Isaiah 18 and the Ethiopian uh, conflict and what have you. So you can go back and look at those. But please, um, if you like this video, uh, please share it and subscribe. There's a subscribe button right down below here. Please subscribe. So every time we actually do a video, you'll get an update that another video is has been posted. And if you live in the United States, I know videos like this don't get a lot of traction in the United States, even in the prophecy websites. 
Okay, like I said, I posted my last video inside of uh, inside the Middle East, and we reached 240,000 people, and uh, we got uh, 6,000 hits uh, on my Facebook page and also on my YouTube channel combined. And and even in the prophecy websites uh, here in the states, you, I, we don't get more than 100 hits. So if you want to um, help get this out, specifically to the people who are interested and who are hungry for Bible prophecy, that that place seems to be the Middle East, and we want to get there, uh, get it there. Uh, my video that I posted that I that I marketed to the Middle East only cost me 100 bu 100 bucks, and we reached 240,000 people. So a, a little goes a long way. So please consider contributing. Just hit the link down below this this video here in the description section and uh, make a contribution no matter how small or how large and uh, we can get this into the hands of the right people. So thank you for your time. Have a good day and uh, we look forward to you with our next video. Good day.